its 25th edition, the Sarajevo Film Festival brought filmmakers and creative thinkers together to help improve global creative cultural dialogue in a much grander transnational scale. Below me right now lies the city of Sarajevo, a culture capital of the Balkans. Be it arts, food or history, the city offers the best there is. And today we'll take you to the heart of its exciting movie culture. One panel which got that heartbeat stronger was the Balkan Advanced Music Group's discussion on creative cities. This event, consisting of idea people from different disciplines, explained to its guests that it is the multicultural film and art environments of cosmopolitan cities that allow them to get noticed in the international arena. And in the case of Sarajevo, it's the movie festival which helps in putting the Bosnian capital on that map. From the beginning, from the end of the war until now, uh, I think this is, uh, this is the, like one of the most beautiful events where you can see that Sarajevo is completely becomes a very cosmopolitan place. People are able to, um, on a more personal level, interact with one another. And they're able to break barriers that they wouldn't ordinarily be able to break in other places. Emerging as one of the most innovative of transnational cinema promoters, TRT brought to the festival their highly respectable 12 Punto platform, which has been garnering critical acclaim from top international filmmakers, seeking trustworthy collaborators to assist them in realizing their dreams. The hungry Sarajevo audience were introduced to TRT's groundbreaking program, which values the vision of filmmakers first and foremost. One of the lack side of Turkish cinema, I think, and we believe that, uh, is we are not starting to, to promote our projects from the beginning. We are dealing so much things as a director producer. We are dealing and struggling so much things from during the production, during the post production. And whenever they are done, and they start to promote their movies and they are trying to put their movies in international areas. But I think it's a mistake. As you see in the Sarajevo Film Festival, there's a huge session which is called CineLink, which is starting, uh, which is match, matching, matchmaking with the producers and directors and from the all over the world, producers and directors and TV stations and uh, big producers. And uh, I think we are missing that. Uh, from that perspective, we started to make a product project which is called TRT 12 Punto uh, Script Days. This project is, uh, enables us to choose the projects which has potential internationally. And uh, when we are making this, we are choosing the projects from the beginning. Because it's important to choose from the beginning. The younger generation that represent the future of movie culture are also present in Sarajevo. Filmmakers Lukas Grevis and Vera Coolidge being two distinguished names. The student short film segment allows these up-and-coming artists to find their perfect audience. First of all, it's a good chance to show the film in a live audience that you don't know, so you can sort of check reactions and see uh, what the end product basically has as an um, output. And also I see myself less as an artist and film less as art, so I think a festival is more a place where you can uh, go to meetings, see films, meet other people and uh, like this build a sort of agenda and um, a calendar with people with who you can work with in the future later. Um, by being here I get a sense of achievement and I uh, get the live reaction of the audience that are not my friends and family but people I don't know. So that's a good feeling, yeah. And I plan on going here next year, the Ensemble International Festival. And it's exactly this kind of culturally diverse atmosphere, which also values open discussion and the younger generations, that allows Sarajevo Film Festival to shape the future of Bosnian cinema. Alijan Pamir, TRT World, Sarajevo.